<laughs> so last night I was here in this very theater to do a storytelling thing with uh, Artem and uh, Henry Vega, and it was great. Except that when I, I'm not really a storyteller, but I tried, and when I got to my really like, like climactic part, and I like finally just like quieted down, a fucking rat ran through the fucking tent. <laughs> And if only that would have happened during a comedy set, and not my only storytelling expose. <laughs> huh. Yeah. So, uh, anyway, I think, all right, you guys are troopers, really you are. Y'all came out here tonight on this really shitty night. It's really shitty out tonight. And so give yourself a little round of applause. <laughs> I think coming out here tonight is the best decision that I've made all day. <laughs> I really do. I think it might also be the worst decision, or both, because it's the only fucking decision I've made all day. <laughs> I haven't been doing anything. I've been watching documentaries of uh, Snoop Lion <laughs> in uh, Jamaica. Yeah. It's not a joke there, it's just that uh, I've been doing that. <laughs> Uh, I cleaned my shower curtain today and, uh, because it's so disgusting. It's just black and no one does anything in the house and we don't talk to each other, we don't communicate. <laughs> and uh, I cleaned it and I was cleaning like way up here, like dirt, and I'm like, how did that dirt get there? How? <laughs> you know? Like, is there like a Yeti in my shower? Like, it doesn't make any sense how the dirt got so high up there. Maybe it's just like, maybe it's like when the shower, like all the steam is there, all the dirt just turns into like particles, like all over the room, like Alex Mack, you know? And, uh, and then it just like goes everywhere. I don't know, I couldn't figure it out. And uh, also, I saw that the toothpaste that we have right now, the name of the toothpaste is Clean Mint. I think that's the dumbest name. Why you gotta put clean in the name? Of course it's cleaning your teeth, it's toothpaste. You know what I mean? What is it, a dirty mint? That makes no sense at all. Clean mint, you uncreative motherfucker. You mean, put cool mint or something, clean mint. You know, they don't have like, clean your ass toilet paper. It's implicit, it's what it does. Like, I have to put it in the name. It's just like, it's just pissing me off. That's, you know. Uh, I saw this ad, the, this ad for Diet Coke, and the, the, this tagline is, what if life tasted as good as Diet Coke? What if life tasted as good as Diet Coke? And they go to this idyllic scene, plasma, technicolor, crazy, ecstatic, orgasmic life. I think, the, I mean, first of all, I think the real question is, what if Diet Coke tasted good? <laughs> Real, you know, and then the answer is something like, you know, or it's like a synonymous with questions like, what if dogs could talk, or what if, you know, pigs like flew over our heads, like shooting like grenades out of their boners. Like, it's just ridiculous. <laughs> it's a ridiculous question, you know? Actually, you know, and like the other day, like, I had like, you know, uh, my old friend Jimmy came up to me, he's looking really raggedy, and, and I was like, hey, Jimmy, how's life? He was like, uh. he was like, you know, like the taste of Diet Coke, and I was like, oh, that that's, that's. Uh, they have this, they have this thing for Miller High Life, the champagne of beers. Miller High Life is not the champagne of beers. If you were to elevate all of the beers to the level of champagne, Miller High Life would be the beer of champagne. Ah. Miller High Life is shit. Look at that title, it's shit. They have, they have the Budweiser, the king of beers. Alright, okay, Budweiser, the king of beers. But what does that make you? You're the knave of Budweiser drinking the... You know what I mean? King of Budweiser doesn't drink Budweiser. He drinks champagne, not Miller High Life. Real champagne, the champagne of champagne. Chris Cow. You know what I mean? The only reason the King Budweiser would drink Budweiser if he's like trying to get to that drunk state where he wants to like keep it in the family and the dynasty and like fuck his cousin, like that kind of real drunk place that only Budweiser gets you to because it makes you butt stupider. You know what I mean? 
So it's fucked up. But my question is, who would win in a fight to the death between King Budweiser and King Cobra? <laughs> you know what I mean? Who would win? King Cobra. Because King Cobra is fucked up and crazy on some animalistic, cannibalistic, fucking child soldier shit. Because King Cobra drinks the fuck out of King Cobra. He's fucked. <laughs> anyway. Uh... Uh, my, my dad is a, an academic. He teaches like logic and reason in classes like this. I never thought I had problems with my father until so I was really drunk one time. I went by a Middle Eastern restaurant and, uh, and the guy was like, would you like a falafel, sir? And I was like, I will never be the falafel, sir, you were, father. I can never falafel size the way you can, father. I will never understand your falafel sea, father. And the guy was like, all right, uh, would you like an olive plate? And I said, I love Plato, but what about Nietzsche? What about the lose, father? What about the lose? And the guy said, would you like a, a, a shawarma? And I said, what is shawarma, father? What is shawarma? Is it a mixture of shame, regret, and karma, father? I smashed into one sick little word. And then uh, he said, uh, would you like uh, a gyro? And I said, yeah, that sounds pretty good. I, I'm pretty hungry. Uh, thanks so much, guys. Come out tomorrow to the Dixon Place. <laughs>